What's special about this place is there's nothing else that exists like this in London. When people come through the main gate, you're coming into a totally different space that you would see outside. They're in for a ride. The audience is in for a ride in terms of how it's, how it's going to be laid out. I think they will like the setup as well, especially this space. Hello everyone, welcome to the Master Shipwrights House. We're going to be here with Totally Thames Festival, 20th of September to the 22nd, Friday to Sunday. Here's our main door. Come on through. So the house was built in 1708 um, and it's now Grade 2 listed. And in the 1800s it was owned by Joseph Allen, which is the main lead um, into it being essentially run as a working dockyard. And the house is split into two sections. So we have this section which is called the main house and then the back house which is just used for living. Essentially we're just looking after it and we're just keeping the house running and it always needs people to be in it. But we also like to be bringing in a lot of friends of ours. We want to just basically just share it with everyone. In relation to Totally Thames Festival, this event is very musically orientated. So Rob Howe, who's a piano player, he's going to be coming on the 20th, 21st and 22nd of September. For the day, I've, I'm performing quite a big range of music and it's all in various ways related to rivers and, and water more generally. To start with, I think the oldest music I have is by Franz Schubert from the 1800s. And so things by the French composer Claude Debussy. And then there are also a couple of pieces by um, some other 20th century composers, um, Luciano Berio, an Italian, and Amy Beach. Um, and then I've also written two pieces called the river shanties. And then we're going to have Deaf Creative, which is a dance group. They're going to be opening in the garden. And then we're going to have a light show also in our main garden. And that'll be just as the sun is setting or has slightly gone away. That'll be later in the afternoon. Um, so our piece or our creation is about the sustainability uh, of the dam and the water, basically the Thames itself, really. When you look at the, the weather issues that we have here in the UK, or the weather issues that we've been having here in the UK since the dam was built, or even beforehand, you realise that without the dam, there would be no London, there would be no city, there would be no... There, we wouldn't be here at all. It would have been flooded ages ago. I think it's quite rare to hear so many different things all in one and we've got this beautiful piano. Now, it's a Bluthner from 1907. It surprised me in, in how subtle and delicate the sound is. So audiences aren't just coming into a one space, seeing a performance and leaving. They're coming in, going into the main garden first, taking a drink, coming up and roaming as freely as they want to, giving this idea that Audiences can move as they wish, they're not necessarily being shepherded, so it gives them this natural comfort that they're in a house rather than just in this event space that they've come to. Well, I mean, it's an intimate space, and often this, some of this music, like the music by Schubert, wasn't written for um, ginormous concert halls um, where we normally hear it today, because while he was alive, he tended to play his music to his friends in his living room. And I think being in such a I guess it's a small space. The sound of the instrument resonates a bit more closely with the listener. The, the music will really speak in a different, different way. The more difficult decisions on our part is provoking the audience, provoking their thought, provoking their, 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 their sight. We kind of want to make sure we're using this space. So not just necessarily using it physically, but using it visually as well. It's more so about provoking their mind, provoking their sight provoking what they think and feel without them having to be involved initially, you know? They should be able to do their own thing, see it how they want. It's the only house, I guess, in London where you have the history, which is interesting. 
and, you've, and you're right on the Thames. So you've got those three things that essentially just make what would be a very special event. Thank you.